Hey y'all and welcome to Politibrawl. My name is Brian and Eli Crane takes an absolute wrecking ball to these bureaucrats and reminds them that they really need to be ashamed of themselves. What do you guys have to say to Americans who have seen their schools, hospitals, and community spaces overtaken by migrants? You guys have any, you, you get a chance, you're on TV right now, do you guys have anything to say to them? What about, do you have anything to say to Americans who are afraid the cartels are taking over their towns? How about anything to say to Americans who have lost their children to fentanyl? Do you guys have anything to say to them? Go ahead, Mr. Hunter. Congressman, in, in regards to the irregular migration challenges, it is a singular focus of our department to reduce irregular migration in the hemisphere and unlawful entry out. Okay, well, thank you for that, but you're doing a horrible job, and the American people know it, okay? I mean, you guys are doing the worst job in the history of this country, so the fact that you even answered that as if that's your responsibility just shows me to tell, tells me how detached from reality you absolutely are. Uh, Mr. Hunter, where were you on 9-11, sir? Do you remember where you were? Uh, I do indeed, Congressman. I was working in Wa Washington, D.C. Uh, at an NGO on DuPont Circle at the time. What about you, Ms. Sabatino? Where were you? I was an immigration inspector at John F. Kennedy International Airport. You remember exactly where you were that day? I do. Ma'am, what about you? You remember? Yeah, I worked for the Executive Office for U.S. Attorney's Department of Justice. Ms. Youth? I was serving in Madrid at the time, but I was in Geneva at a training. You know, I actually remember where I was. Uh, that morning. I was in my second grade elementary school class and I remember the, the uh, principal gave this very weird cryptic announcement, something about patriotism and loving your country. And everyone, all, all the students just kind of looked at each other and was wondering, what is this person talking about? And so classes were kind of derailed that way. My mom was histrionic when she picked me up and I had no idea what was going on until I saw the footage on the Today Show the next morning. And Eli Crane is using this metaphor uh, to show um, Americans that something as bad might be coming down the pipe. Just, just continue watching. Just listen up. This is a nightmare scenario. Okay. Well, the reason I ask you guys that, do you remember what Americans were saying right after that? Do you remember what Americans were saying? Do you remember saying never again? We're never going to let this happen again? You guys remember that? Yes or no? Go ahead, Miss Youth. Do you remember Americans saying that? Yes, sir. Ms. Meckley? Yes, sir. Ms. Sabatino? Yes. Well, guess what, guys? It's going to happen again. It's not a question of if, it's a question of when. And for every one of you guys that has sat by and supported these policies and these tools that we're talking about today that have allowed and expedited this mass migration into the United States, you're going to share a little bit of that ownership, all right? That changed so many of our lives forever. We said never again, and here we are implementing policies and tools that are making it so easy for individuals who don't love this country, who want to do harm to this country, and we're not talking about everybody. We know there are plenty of people who just want to come here for a better life, but you guys all know there are plenty of people in this country right now that want to do Americans harm. And I, this is my question for you, and we don't have time to answer it, but I want you to think about this. When the next major attack, like 9-11, or a series of 9-11s happen in this country, will you still continue to support these policies and these tools? Because we're not going to forget it. We're not going to forget who was at the helm. We're not going to forget who was in these positions. We're not going to forget the policies. We're not going to forget the tools. And we're not going to forget the committee hearings like we had today, where you guys could have con condoned this administration, and you guys, you guys didn't. The other day, Elon Musk posted something about uh, illegal immigration and how it's going to be a 9-11 or multiple 9-11 events. I don't think that's what's going to happen. I think it's a much smaller, more localized problem, and it's already happening. We have schools that are now overloaded that aren't designed to handle this many students. Hospitals are being overloaded. Democrat cities are being overrun. Uh, with migrants, and then the Democrat cities will then pay those migrants. It, it is doing, it, it is devastating local communities and their actual resources, and Democrats just have their fingers in their ears saying, la, 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 we can't hear it. Nothing bad's going on. What they don't understand what they're doing. They're not solving any real problems. This isn't going to solve the Social Security and Medicare problem. This isn't going to solve the population problem, because the boomers uh, might have... Uh, uh, 
gone crazy like rabbits, but they didn't have enough kids to pay for the Social Security and Medicare programs. This isn't, having this immigration isn't going to solve either of those problems. As a matter of fact, it's going to exacerbate all of them. Uh, I hate using the word invasion because it's not an invasion in the traditional sense. This is an attempt to correct a problem that no one knows how to solve. And the Democrat idea is give them money and hope they assimilate. No, that's not going to work. And Eli Crane might be a little histrionic. Comparing the immigration crisis to a 9-11 style event might be a little bit overblown. But I understand what he's trying to say. And I think ultimately, in the grand scheme of things, he's going to be right. And this is going to trigger a lot of liberals. And if you want to trigger liberals in your life, go over to my friends at basebuy.shop, link in the description below, and show the world how conservative you really are. So the immigration crisis is not a problem of the individuals coming in. It's a problem of the unknown. And it's a problem with the cartels. It's a problem with a fentanyl. It's not an issue with people south of the border. It's the issues that come along with this migration. Can we as a society handle this? Currently, the people in charge are doing nothing to solve the border crisis. They are doing nothing to stop the flow of fentanyl. Th this is absolutely insane. And the right is saying we need to do something. And the left tried to do a compromise. It was still a pitiful bill. Did not go far enough. And the left is just sitting there doing nothing. The right is at least saying we need to do something. And uh, that's going to be a message that has a winning attitude in 2024. And hopefully something about this starts happening with a new administration. Because it's not, it's not going to happen under Biden or any Democrat. Folks, my name is Brian. Hope you enjoyed that segment here on Politibrawl. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you on the next one. And until then, y'all have a good one.